morning everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be vlogging for the first time which i couldn't be more excited for because i absolutely love watching vlogs so i'm excited to do one of my own um i've got a great video planned for today well i've got a great day planned which is why i thought i would vlog it um having like a really nice christmasy day today with um, my mum, her partner, and then Nathan's gonna come as well. Um, he's in my bubble, so he's allowed to come over. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get myself ready for the day. It's about half nine in the morning. Um, yeah, gonna get myself ready for the day. Then I'm going to go pick Nathan up and then we're gonna come back here. Um, we're gonna put the Christmas tree up. We're gonna have some really good food later. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna bring you along for the ride. So yeah, I'm gonna go and jump in the shower and then I'm going to get myself ready and I will see you soon. <laughs> to collect Nathan um yeah really excited to see him because I haven't been seeing him in the week so um it's nice yay yay <laughs> there he is <laughs> I should have had a haircut are you excited to be in my first vlog no <laughs> So I thought I'd jump on here quickly to show you everything we bought from M&S um, for our Christmas evening. So here it is lined up all nicely here. Um, I'll bring you a little bit closer to show you what we've actually got. So bear with me two seconds. So this is everything we got from M&S for our Christmas evening in. So we've got some apple, mango and passion fruit sparkling juice. And then we've got a couple of bottles of Prosecco because it's a Christmas night. <laughs> this one's being a nuisance. <laughs> um, excuse the mess in here. And then we got some nibbly bits. It's always nice to have Christmas stuff. So we've got this American style snack mix. Um, so chili flake pretzels pastrami flavor mini bagel bites and natural cheese and jalapeno flavor maize snacks i didn't actually read that and that sounds delicious wow um some barbecue hot wings ridge cut crisps it sounds amazing a couple of little sweeties which someone has already been digging into caught him red-handed <laughs> uh and some more sweets some little mixed up meerkats got some mini cocktail sausages and smoked streaky bacon to make pigs in blankets and then we got these party the four three for four yes yeah, no four for three four for three um they're little party food so we've got some uh mini lobster mac and cheeses which sound absolutely delicious i actually had these last year and they were great um some hand wrapped prawns and then some mini chicken kievs which look so cute and so delicious and then these amazing looking mini beef wellingtons and then also got a camembert because uh, you can't have a christmas party without a baked camembert uh a french stick to dip in the camembert and then i got some um all butter puff pastry some grated cheese and some pesto because i really want to try and make some uh cheese and pesto cheese twists uh so i will let you know how that goes but that's everything we got for a little party tonight Wow. Oh, and we also got some beers. So we got some Brewdog, uh, Punk IPA, and then the Punk AF, uh, non-alcoholic, so that we've got a nice mix up there. Yay! 
Can I have a sweetie, please? Yeah. Just one there. Thank you. We are now going to chill out for a little bit, have a relax. Nathan is going to watch the rugby. Who is it playing today? England, Wales. England and Ireland. Um, Ireland. And we're going to chill and then we'll catch back up on here when we start getting the food together. So, see you soon. We have a sleeping baby. Ladies, would you like to sit on the blue benches, gentlemen? Would you like to come over here and sit on the red benches, please? Girls on the blue benches, boys on. So I've been growing things outside for since like June kind of time, and I've just decided to pull <laughs> some of my pull some of my carrots out. <laughs> the annoying thing is you can't tell what they look like until you get them out of the ground. You see the top, and you're like, oh, wow, it's a real carrot. No, no, because I pulled the roots now. <laughs> you can see. You've, you've cut their lives premature. <laughs> I don't know how long they carry on growing for, though. Cut down in their time. Uh, but yeah, gonna maybe snack on them. Cut down I will eat them. Cut down in their prime. Four carrots. <laughs> Oh, anyway, just wanted to show you my carrots. I'm gonna film the taste test. You're enjoying that? Mmm, it's carrot. <laughs> Cut down in its prime. It is delicious. Nice organic carrot, that is. Home grown. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our cooking channel. <laughs> we are now going to start cooking some, well not cooking, we're going to start preparing some of the things we have. We are going to start preparing some of the things that we are cooking tonight just so they're ready to go in the oven. So we're going to make the cheese and pesto twists and we're gonna get the pigs and blankets together. I forgot to mention earlier that I make the most amazing pigs and blankets. So I always make them myself because they just taste so much better. I always use smoked streaky bacon, little cocktail sausages, not cooked cocktail sausages, not non-cooked cocktail, raw cocktail sausages. Um, and I put ketchup on the bacon and then I coat them in brown sugar and they get all caramelized and delicious in the oven. So uh, I will show you how I make those. Outtake reel. To say. I don't know what to say. Right, these are habanero hot wings. Ridge cut crisp. Let's try them. Mmm. Holy, holy smokes. A little bit of kitchen. I took a taste though. Spot on. I've got a Christmas helper who's going to be helping me with my cooking today. <laughs> get lower, get lower so the camera can see you. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> this is going to be a really really easy recipe like all we need is the puff pastry the cheese the pesto and then like a bit of flour for dusting the surface and then some egg to put on top afterwards so i feel like it's going to be a really straightforward like some so. butter or something to make it crispy that'll be the egg on the oh, top okay. yeah
um what we're gonna do now is just pop them in the fridge and let the puff pastry get nice and cold again and then around i don't know 20 minutes before we're ready to eat i will brush them with egg and stick them in the oven but yeah i'll show you when we get to that point but this is where we're at and i think they look really good this one went a bit funny but yeah really pleased how they turned out so fabulous So now I'm going to be doing my pigs in blankets. Um, the things that I've got to make these is I've got some M&S uh, dried cured streaky bacon. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be M&S, but I do. Um, I prefer smoked. Like some people might not, but I just think it makes them taste so much better. Um, so yeah, got that. I've got some mini cocktail sausages. These are uncooked. You definitely want uncooked ones if they don't if your supermarket doesn't have any uncooked cocktail sausages you can't replace with cooked i would recommend just getting like chipolatas and then you could like cut them in half um i usually do that by like twisting them in the middle and then they kind of easily break apart but got those and they were reduced which is great so i'll make all of those um 36 um and then i've got some heinz it needs to be heinz ketchup but that's just me i just love heinz this is no added sugar or salt um, and then finally, we'll need some brown sugar. Um, I've just got light, soft uh, brown cane sugar. It's really hard though. I'm hoping that I'm, I'm gonna be able to break this up. Oh yeah, it's fine. Um, so I'm just gonna get my station set up and then I'll show you how I do these because it's a bit of it's a bit of an operation. I have like a bit of an operation line going on. So I will be back in two seconds. Um, so my brown soft sugar was really, really hard, funnily enough. Um, and I could only break a bit of it off. So I've just gone for this demerara of sugar instead, um, which I've just popped in this bowl here. So I start off by laying out as much bacon as I can fit on my um, chopping board. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces to start me off. I've got my sausages open. Luckily, these ones are already cut. Um, they're already separated. So that's a job we don't have to do. Um, some brands or some supermarkets are still linked together. So you just want to go through and cut them all up. Um, and now what I start off by doing is with all the bacon that's on the tray, I'll just take a pair of kitchen scissors and I'll just cut each piece in half. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to squirt a little bit of ketchup on each of my pieces and then I'm going to use this knife to just spread it along. So is it just one sausage or two sausages? You're one sausage person, aren't you? One sausage per piece one of bacon? Yes. Why would there be two? I'm a two person. How could you fit two pieces of sausages? I'm, not, I'm of just, well you could if you just, I'm just saying now, I've just, just double checking that it's one. <laughs> and now I'm gonna place my sausages on the pieces of bacon. And now I'm gonna roll them up. Now that all the sausages are all made up, we're gonna put, coat them in the sugar and pop them on the baking tray. I forgot to say earlier that I'd recommend that you put either greaseproof paper or parchment paper down on your baking tray. I didn't have any, so I put foil down instead. You're definitely going to want to coat your tray with something because we are baking sugar. It's gonna make a real big mess. And if you just put it straight on your baking tray, it would be an absolute nightmare to clean up. So yeah. So here are the pigs in blankets ready to go in the oven. We did a couple of double ones because um, we had more sausages than the bacon. 
but I've, I've just basically made sure that the fold bit is at the bottom um yeah because I think it will less likely unwrap like that so we're going to stick these in the oven now I think probably for about 30 to 40 minutes we like them really crispy um but it's totally up to you um would you like to do the honors sir uh, and we've got the oven set preheated to 190, 200, 200 Fahrenheit, and we popped it in the middle shelf there. So yeah, excited to see what those are like when they come out. Wow. Right, they've been in for just over 40 minutes and they look absolutely perfect. So we're going to take them out now. It's just a... <gasps> dun, 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 dun. Oh my god, they're perfect. Right, it's time for the pigs in blankets taste test. Oh, oh my god, they're scorching hot, but they are unreal. Mmm. So I'm gonna go get the tree and I'm gonna put it up here. And yeah, I'm so excited. Year, but I've got no idea where we got it from, but look how pretty it is. Yay! A few days later now, and just a quick tree update because we've actually added to it even more because mum went to springtime nurseries um, and she found some like gorgeous decorations. So like these shoes. So she's put these shoe baubles all over the tree. Look how cute they are and some like lovely stars. So the tree has had a bit of an update since last time and it's looking gorgeous. So that's our final tree with the shoes. Love it. Hey, it's Prosecco time. My uncle always says to me, a good Jewish girl knows how to pour a glass of Prosecco. Apparently she also knows how to cook amazing pigs in blankets. <laughs> Let's go. final spread so we've got the pigs and blankets here are the cheese and pesto twist we've got the camembert which looks amazing um, and all the other party foods that I got from M&S we're going to enjoy this now um, yeah really excited bye we're just now cozying down watching I'm a celeb um, and we're gonna get into bed later and watch a nice Christmas movie <laughs> So I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had lovely weekends and I'll see you next time. Bye.